Alright, welcome to episode 4 of Q&A with Cena. Alright, before I get started, I wanted to say a big happy birthday to my girl, PMS, you get beat by girls, name is Cece. Her birthday was uh, Saturday, May 9th, she went to, uh, she lives in New York, she went and partied it up. So a big happy birthday from me, Cece, and if I ever get to New York, me and you will go out for dinner and uh, celebrate your birthday. Alright, All right. that being said, let's move on to question number one for the week. It's from CDR WizKid, and he says, Hi, Cena. My first question is this. Suppose you're not in the mood to play any of the music-related games. What else do you play on your 360? And the second question is, will there be a review of any replacement strummers for rock band guitars? All right, first question. There's a lot of times I'm not in the mood to play any of the, of the rock band or music-related games. Being that I'm in H2O, um, I play about uh, no less than four hours a week because of practices. Um, I play uh, on Tuesdays, I do a Guitar Hero Metallica practice, and then on Thursdays I do a Rock Band practice. So a lot of times, when I don't, when I'm not playing those, I play oh, like a lot of games. Godfather, Call of Duty 4, Rainbow Six, um, I'm a big huge fan of all of the EA Sports game, Madden, Tiger Woods, uh, <clears throat> NBA. So there's a lot of games I play. If you look through my profile, you see a ton of games, even arcade games, Monopoly, all of that that I play all the time. Um, Halo 3, all the big shooters, all of those. So when I'm not playing those, I'm usually playing the games I just mentioned. Uh, when is the next, uh, or when am I going to do any reviews on replacement strummers? I already did a review. If you look at my old channel, the HBK1101 channel, I did a review on the Bite Art Strummer. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll post that here on the Cena's Corner uh, too because I'm still working on getting some of those up. Bite Arts is the only replacement or one of the two only replacements that I know of. Um, but I did, I have done a review on the Bite Arts Strummer. And I can't remember the name of it right now, but there's another company that makes a strummer that I'm going to be trying to contact to see if I can get a review on theirs. Okay? So thanks, CR Wiz Kid. The next question is from, I think it's Kyrie R. C H I C H Y. R, I'm sorry, I can't even read today. C H R I Y R. He says, When is the next giveaway and what is your favorite DLC? The next giveaway is actually going on right now, I'm trying to give away a destroyer pedal. The contest is Day in the Life of Cena. All you gotta do is make a, uh, a video doing a review as me of any product. Doesn't matter if it's Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Spaghetti, Mason Jars, whatever. And then, uh, Wednesday is I'm supposed to pull it, but I may give it an extra day or an extra week or so because I haven't got that many entries yet um, and uh, decide to win it from that. So if you're looking for the next giveaway, this is it, man. Go ahead and get that, that video up there and um, get to be a part of that. My favorite DLC, I have too many to name, just one. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of the Judas Priest DLC, huge fan of Red Heart Chili Peppers, huge fan of Pearl Jam, uh, a huge fan uh, of... You know, a lot of the stuff that's that's coming down the pipeline, okay? all, the funk pack, all of that. So I have a ton of favorites. That's just a few of them, okay? All right, next question comes from Cortez7. If you would multiply oranges with pie, and would be pro... And, and, well, if you multiply oranges with pie, what would the product of those two be? Well, I don't know, man. Orange pie? Ah, you know, hey... Give me some some type of pie with some oranges, put those together. I'm going to say orange pie, orange peach pie, orange cherry pie, whatever pie you got out there, man. The second question is, how many drum kits have I gone through? I have went through a total of 18 different drum kits alone when it came to Rock Band, uh, rock band 1. And I have went through one Guitar Hero World Tour kit because I refuse to go out and buy another one at this point, being that I have a perfectly good ion set. My uh, Guitar Hero World Tour kit was bad out the box. I hit it one time and it was done. <laughs> so, a total of 19 drum kits between the two uh, since the game's inception. Okay? Next question come from Black Knight 76 He says, Hey Cena, I have a few Rock Band centric questions. First, what has been your favorite DLC song pack so far? Second, what is your favorite song on each of the instruments? And third, what song band would you most like to see featured as DLC that is not already in Rock Band? Question one, my favorite DLC song pack so far, uh, I just named a few. I, dude, I really can't narrow it down to just what I don't think. I guess if I was forced to narrow it down to one, um, I would have to say probably the Funk Pack. You know, the, the uh, Earth, Wind & Fire 
you know, the ones that came up with that, Earth, Wind & Fire, you know, Pick Up the Pieces, Average White Band, um, James Brown, that's how I grew up. I, I'm a fan of many of them, but I have to pick one, it would be that one. It gives me fun memories of when I was a child with my mom, and that's what we used to always dance around the house with. So that would be the one I would pick if I had to narrow it down and just choose one. If I could choose many, look at what I said about the other ones and Pearl Jam and all of them. So there's a lot of good DLC out there. Uh, secondly, you want to know what is my favorite song on each of the instruments? That's hard. I, I, I can tell you right now, my favorite song on drums has got to be um, Pearl Jam's Even Flow. I've been waiting for that song to come out forever, and I've played that song nonstop, even though I still can't nail certain phrases of the song, because the song is, Pearl Jam's drummer is just incredible. Um, I think it's on, on guitar just because it's a challenge. I love the Stevie Ray Vaughn pack. Uh, there is no guitarist out there I think that is better than Stevie Ray Vaughan. And I'm going to probably pronounce his name wrong, but Ying Wee Mannheim, I think his stuff is very good too. I like to play both of those a lot on guitar. Um, and then third, what song band would I most like to see featured as DLC that is not already in rock band? Well, I'll, I'll say it to the end of time whether he agrees or not, Prince uh, will always be one. I think we should go back and kick it with some of the bands, you know, with the 80s, you know, Rat. You know, all those guys, you know, um, back when Brett Michaels was young and Poison, Def Leppard, um, all of those. I think all of those bands have a place here in a rock band. And those would be some of the bands that I would like to see featured as DLC coming down, coming down the pipeline. Okay, thank you for that question. All right, next question is from X Gaming League. He says, hey Dave, I have several questions for you and I hope you can answer them. In your mind, was Rock Band as a franchise and a brand a success or another fad that could die out soon? Could you explain some things you might want to see in Rock Band 3? And what bands do you think deserve a Rock Band game devoted to their music like the ACDC Live Track Pack? Well, the first one is, in my mind, was Rock Band as a franchise or a brand a success or another fad and they're going to fail? No, I think that Rock Band franchise was an extreme success. <clears throat> if you want my honest opinion on it, I really believe that Harmonix used the Guitar Hero franchise as a springboard. I think they really wanted to see uh, if, if gamers are really going to be interested in playing along in music with plastic instruments. Before Guitar Hero, that had never been done before. I realized that we had, you know, the Dance Dance games. I realized there's another drum game called Drum Mania, but never had been done in the way that Guitar Hero was doing things. And I think after Alex Rickopolis and company, got shocked by the numbers of people that was buying this game and the instant addiction that this game created and I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from experience because like I said in, in other videos I didn't get on the guitar bandwagon right away I thought it was going to be the dumbest thing in the world I played the game one day one hour and I sent my wife out and we went and got the rest of them okay so I think it, they used it as a springboard to test and now that they know it's going to work Harmonix has a brand that's going to stand forever and I know I'm going to get the, the spit in my face from the Activision crowd, but I think that they've now put Activision way behind the eight ball. Activision is now trying to play catch up and hopefully to keep their brand alive. I do believe that if every other music game right now was to fall to the face of the earth, Rock Band, Harmonix would stand and would make it through. Okay? Uh, some things I might want to see in Rock Band 3. Um, for one, I would like to see them bring back uh, the gold stars. We need to have the gold stars that's sitting up. You know, when you go star song, you see the gold stars. To me, that was a big thing. I, I like to see that because I know I've done well in this song. I can gold star, let's move on to something else. Um, other things, maybe, uh, maybe give us more uh, freedom with our character. I know we can dress them up now, but with the technology out there today, with the expressions that our our characters can make on the screen you see now maybe a little bit more we can make them do different expressions that we want them to do uh, maybe you know make them whatever we want okay but just give them different expressions um, otherwise that's uh besides those two things that's still a thought and process because I plan on doing a talk about the rock band guitar hero franchise and all together and throwing that in there so I'm still making my list of things I go through rock band on a daily basis and making a list so there would probably be a bigger answer to that when I do that talk here, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'm trying to get that before E3. If not, if I can, on the road at E3 or right after I get back, okay? And the last one is, uh, what bands do I think deserve a rock band game devoted to their music? 
Well, number one would have been the Beatles, but that's already taken care of. So I, I guess after that, you know, like I said, bring back some of the 80s bands. Rad, you know, you know, uh, all of them. Def Leppard, you know, there's a bunch of bands out there that if you really thought about it, that would probably deserve to have their own game. But, for, you know, of course, Prince and Revolution, uh, you know, all of them. So that would be, I guess, my answer to that at this point.